2 amp battery versus 4 amp battery. What is the difference? Is there a difference? We're going to check that today using this Parkside circular saw. Hey, my name is Tomasz and you're watching Casual DIY channel. Let's have a look at this. A couple of years ago, I've made a video, a couple of videos actually, I think, um, checking out this uh, circular saw, cordless circular saw from Parkside that you can buy in Lidl. Okay, and I only had the 2 amp battery for it. And it did all right, you know, it wasn't a major breakthrough in power. Uh, however, a lot of you said that, hey, try the saw with 4 amp battery and you'll see it's a totally different machine. Well, today we're going to do exactly that as I'm really curious, will it be that much better? So we're going to run a few tests with the 2 amp battery and then the same test with the 4 amp battery and we'll see if that's actually true or not. The first cutting test is this beam, 125 centimeters long, it's about 8 centimeters in thickness. The whole blade will be buried in the timber itself and that's what I'm going for. So first of all 2 amp battery and we'll see if the whole saw will be able to get through and the board without stopping. Well, we didn't get far. <laughs> Let's measure that up. Let's have a look. So that came to a total of 10 centimeters. So it managed to get through about 10 centimeters of the board. Right, let's have a look with the 4 amp battery. In this case, I'm gonna flip it over so we've got a nice end just like that. Hearing protection on, vacuum on. Well, straight away we can see far better results. In this case, 30 centimeters. So by the looks of it, three times the more power it actually delivered to the machine. Obviously, again, burying the whole blade at once, it's not the best way to go. So don't do that. Let's do another test, just to make sure we are getting the right results here, guys, okay? I'm putting back the 2 amp battery, and this time, similar size beam, but we're gonna go against the grain, full reach of the blade. Let's go at it, see what happens. Okay, so it managed to do one, two, three, four cuts, and it stopped on the fifth one. Right, now we're gonna change the batteries. Four amp battery, flip this over. We'll see how many cuts we'll be able to do with the bigger battery. Well, in this case, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I've actually made the same path as with the 2 amp battery. 
and there was no sign of slowing down. It was still going, no issues at all. Again, proving the point, four amp far better than the two amp. Now the final test, a sandwich of two 18 millimeter plywood sheets. Let's see how the batteries will cope with that. One, two, and three quarters, and it stopped. Okay, let's change the battery to the four amp. Okay, so I've got a fresh edge, let's go for it. Okay, I've stopped, it was still going, it didn't stutter, it was still going fine, it was slowing down a little bit. However, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 pieces. Okay, 11 pieces in one go, compared to 2 and 3 quarters. And that's already with the rest of the test made. So the 2 amp battery is already losing power, it doesn't have enough power, it doesn't give enough power to the tool, whereas the 4 amp battery, far more power, will last far longer. Now you may ask yourself the question, why the heck did he make this pointless video? We all know that the 4 amp battery will last longer than the 2 amp battery. However, and not many people will know that will actually deliver more power to the tool itself so it can do more demanding tasks and sometimes it's just nice to do something obvious that everybody should know everybody think they know <laughs> however to see it in your own eyes it's a totally different thing so the 4 amp battery will not only last longer than the 2 amp battery but will also deliver far more power to the machine itself and it can tackle more difficult tasks. So, yes, 4 amp battery better than 2 amp battery. So next time you're going to be picking a tool for yourself, think about that because uh, quite a lot of sets you can buy will actually come with the bare minimum. 2 amp batteries, 1.5 amp batteries, and maybe it's worth to add a few more pounds, few more dollars to get something that has got that bigger battery that will for sure do you a better job. Now, I hope this video was interesting to you. If it was, drop me that like button down below. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it as there is a lot more cool content coming in the future. Now, if you're interested in projects around workshop, um, workshop related projects then I've got you covered I've got a nice playlist should be just over here <laughs> there's plenty of videos there so go ahead click on that and I'll see you there take care